Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can create um, a, a report through SQL query or a BAP query where we can find what are the different config elements that we have to configure based on a particular table or particular field. So if you have a particular field, it's pretty easy. You can get it from here. So if you go into slash and ME23 and suppose this is the purchase order, and here I want to know where, where is purchase, uh, purchasing group configured. So here you can click on F1. And if you go to customizing from here and you click on continue without specifying project, you get to the point where you get all these details like purchasing group. Now, but I want for multiple fees, okay? And also I want the specific, specific uh, transaction code. So how can I do that? So first I will do is, I'll go to SQBI, right? okay, and here I will create a new uh, a back query. So I'll just give you Z get ing one, and I will give you get ing uh, location and transaction code for configuration. So <clears throat> that's the text I gave. Now what I'm going to do, it would be a table join, okay, and I'll click on the green arrow. Now, these are some of the fields that I'll be adding, so let me go here. So the first field, the first table that I will be adding is DD03L, so DD03L, okay, and that's the first one. The next one would be, I'll, I'll just copy because I did it before, OBGS. So it would be O B T S. Okay. The next one. So here the uh, the check table with the main table. So that's the join condition. So this will not work. So we will do delete link. And if I scroll down, here I have check table with the oh, let me see check table with uh, the table. Okay. Let's see check table with that's it good so the next one the next table i'll put is cus underscore act obj so i'll put cus underscore act obj <clears throat> that's good i'm maintaining just checking the joint condition okay so it's object name object name. So i don't need this object type so I'll take it off, delete. Okay, that's good. Now the next one we are going to add is uh, CUS underscore IMG ACH. So it would be CUS IMG ACH. Green arrow and let me see the <clears throat> the joining condition is act ID to C activity. Act ID and this one I'll take it off. Good. Now the next one I will add is CUS underscore ACT OBT. So that's good. CUS underscore ACT OBT. Okay, that's for the text. Okay. <clears throat> and I just want to mention that here it will be C activity act ID. So this one will take it off. Okay. <clears throat> now this is done. The joining condition is done. Now what we are going to do is I'll put the list field. So let's go to the selection field first. <coughs> so we'll put the selection fields first. So the selection fields are what is it? It's OBGS T T tab name, OBGS object name, and all those things. Okay. So let me put first these two tab name and uh, I will put this one. And that was there, and I have check table also is there, so that's good. We put the check table there. Now we are going to put OBGS tab name. So let me scroll down, scroll down. Um, OBGS tab name, where is OBGS tab name? And then we have one more. So I think this object name will be here. 
that's it that's good then we have uh, plus if the user i think this time and date we don't need we probably will need um, default okay from this because what we are going to do we'll put this default <clears throat> and if you scroll down and this brass and the text Brass here. So here's brass for the selection screen. <coughs> so did I click on this? Not yet. So here it is. Now we're done. Now we are going to the list fields. Okay, so the list fields would be tab name, the same thing, prime table. So in here, we'll see DDC, we'll see uh, role name. Check table, field name, and we put it here. Okay, and now we are going to go down and we are going to build this one tab name. What was it? And OBGS prime table. <coughs> and I put prime table here. So we have populated this. This is good. Now, what are the more? So next one, cos actor ID and okay, cos actor ID. Then there is object type, object name, decode. Object type, object name, decode. That's four gone. And then field name we took. And now this text, text is important. <coughs> So, what is the text for? The text is in text piece is in OVT. OVT. <coughs> thing here. This is the text the language also here, and uh, and there was some other things that were here. Talk Document ID and attributes. Uh, let's put that also just for the heck. We want to make sure and the T code. We want to put the T code also there because the T code is essential. Because I think there was T code there. I'm missing it. This is T code. Yeah, there is T code here and there is T code there. GT code is there. This is, I think this is good. So now we are going to save it. Now, what we are going to do, we are just going to do a test. Okay. And we'll execute. We are going to execute and we'll put the table name EKGRP. Okay. And that's it. We execute. So here you can see we got all these informations. So the actual T code for creating the purchasing group or something like that, you can see. We can click Control Y, Control C. I'll just do this and I'll open it. And this will actually take me to the place where I can do the configuration. So though it's a <clears throat> though it's a view, so if I enter this, if you notice, I can go directly here and do all my configuration. Pretty nice, right? So if the basis, if the security team needs specific configuration that they want to get the T-code, they can get it from here. Rather than they have to go through IMG and all those things, so you can get the exact transaction code from here. So if you, this is easy for this, but if you want to make it much difficult, you can put other things, right? You have EKKO and if you put the booker, so that would be good. Because now it will open up everything you need to make. And that can be huge. You know, company code is maintained in a bunch of places. Okay, so now if you notice, it is opening. And suppose I want to open this one. Okay, I put Control Y, Control C. I put this key code. And here you can see we can assign the company code. Let me see. It's opening, and in this way, you can get the specific transaction codes, and you know you don't need to build something and 
you don't have to query. So here you can see this is related to company code, default values, relevant to accounting, you can get all these details. And here I think it gives the explanatory text also, which is useful. And uh, this, is, this is pretty handy. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it. And have a great day and keep sharing the knowledge. Thank you and have a great day.